My name's John Whaley. Some of you have seen some of my videos on YouTube or actually some of the words that the Lord has given me. This is not a game to me. Um, I do not take lightly the gifts and the presence and the power of my Lord and Savior, Yeshua, the Son of God. There is something very evil that is befalling America through what I believe to be a false prophet, a man that is filled with the spirit of Antichrist, a man that hates Yeshua, that hates his blood, and I feel has blasphemed the Holy Spirit of God in his latest release, wash us in the blood. You can judge me if you will. God be my judge and I'll stand before him this day with the words that I speak to you. But I speak to you out of my heart and I speak to any man, woman, boy or girl especially men of God who preach the gospel of God. If you watch that video and you can even make it halfway through it and the spirit of God dwells in you and you don't feel the grief in the heart of God, the sadness, the anger, something's wrong with you. It's time that we take a stand as men and women of God against this godless wave of pollution that come that is coming in the house of God. It's not that we're perfect as Christians, and it's not that we're being judgmental. This is something more evil. This is something more sinister and way darker. This is the powers of darkness. This is a principality that is manifesting in the flesh. The Lord gave me a word concerning a wave of pollution that was coming to the body of Christ and that those ministers that join themselves to this wave of pollution will be deceived by the spirit of anti-Christ. They're anti the anointed of God. They'll talk Jesus. They'll talk the talk. They'll put ornaments the ornaments of the gospel, the words, redemption, sanctification. That spirit that dwells within that video is one of the most evil presences I have ever felt in my life. God has saved me from darkness. He has translated me into the kingdom of his dear son and placed the Holy Spirit of truth within us that we may know the spirit of truth from the spirit of error. I come out boldly against the godless spirit of Antichrist. And I say unto any man of God who claims to be a prophet of God or claims to be a man of God or, or anything to do with the Lord's people, if you expose your people to this and you put the name of God upon that, you put Yahweh's name upon that trash, that filth, the spiritual pollution of the darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, you are exposing them to the greatest evil that I have ever been exposed to. God has delivered me from the occult. He has delivered me from spiritual wickedness. These things almost destroyed my life. This man is a false prophet. He is a prophet of Baal. He is not a Christian. He hates Christ. He hates Yeshua. He blasphemes the Spirit. He places the blood and the Holy Spirit of God with acts in that video Regardless of the reason, the reason does not matter. He's mixing the holy blood of our Lord 
with the pollution and the filth of this world. And the author of that confusion is Satan himself. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. I love you. I love you. And I love men and women all over this country enough to tell them the truth. This is not God. This is that spirit of Antichrist. Just one manifestation. It is a principality. It's beyond the demonic force. It's a principality sent to bring destruction to souls of men. It is drunk with the wine of Babylon. All I can do is cry out to God in my spirit and pray for mercy for this nation. Woe unto a nation that calls evil good and good evil. Make it hot or cold. But he said, because you are lukewarm, I'm ready to spew you out of my mouth. And yet now a man comes blatantly taking the holiest thing in the body of Christ, his precious blood, and is mingling it with idols, demons, and the worship of men. I call you out. As a man of God, I call you out of that. And I would ask you, ma'am, sir, if the Spirit of God was not grieved in your spirit when you saw that, then he don't live inside of you. And I'm not afraid to say it. Matter of fact, it's my duty to say it. We are living in a time, we are living in an, in an age where deception has filled the earth, and the world needs to hear a horn, a true horn with a true sound. These demonic powers thirst for, for, for authority, the authority that God gives the servants of God to preach the gospel of God, and now they sit in the temple of God. The body of Christ, the body of Yeshua Mashiach, and they exalt demons. You call me critical if you will, but the Spirit of God does not lie. It took, it's taken almost 30 minutes for my spirit to begin to pull out of the darkness that came through that field. The word of God says these men will not last long. Their damnation slumbereth not, says Peter. You can say this is judging if you will, but I have a responsibility to the body of Christ, and I'm warning you. If you align yourself with that spirit, you're going to have blood on your hands. We must turn away from these things, beloved. We must turn from these things. We must turn from the spirits of the age unto the living God. the Holy Blood of Messiah, the Holy Spirit of Christ that dwells within us. It's not to be mingled with the darkness of this world. I'm not talking about your average fault or failure. I'm not saying that Christians are perfect, but this is a blatant blasphemy against God his son, and his spirit, beware, beware. Take a stand, for this spirit has come to bring destruction. May God bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you.